Starting a hybrid car is as easy as pushing a button, but what's inside is anything but simple. In the rear of the car, beneath the fast food wrappers and other junk in your trunk, is a roughly 100-pound rechargeable battery pack, comprised of many smaller nickel-metal hydride or lithium-ion batteries similar to those in your cell phone. Current from the battery is directed to the electric motor, which contains around a kilogram of neodymium, a rare earth metal used to make the world's strongest commercially available permanent magnets. The motor can produce high torque at low RPMs. It isn't enough to reveal a Higgs boson particle, but it can generate around 80 horsepower. At around 40 miles per hour, the internal combustion engine kicks in, providing additional power and extending the hybrid's range to hundreds of miles without refueling. Internal combustion engines run on good old gasoline, which packs nearly 10 times more energy than TNT. But they also release carbon dioxide, benzene, and other fun toxins into the atmosphere. The hybrid special sauce is a software-guided drivetrain with planetary gears that finds the optimal balance of power between the gas engine and the electric motor, engaging both when the driver needs to go all Formula One. It all comes full circle when you hit the brakes. The car's kinetic energy goes into rotating the motor, which effectively becomes the generator. This not only slows the vehicle, but also produces electricity to recharge the battery. It's called regenerative braking, and is perhaps the only known benefit of stop-and-go traffic, other than getting to listen to all of your wired podcasts. Enjoy other episodes of What's Inside by subscribing to The Wired Channel.